Hello, welcome back. Can you see my hands? Yes, you can. Um, first thing I have to apologize for is the look of this video. What I'm trying to show you is really difficult to film. I want to show you my PC screen and also the screen of the force at the same time, um, which is quite difficult to get in shot, but I will explain everything very thoroughly so you can get a gist of what I'm doing. So a few days ago, someone posted a comment on one of my videos saying, is it possible to use Ableton Link to sort of trigger or automate tempo changes on the force? Um, anyone that uses the force knows that the lack of ability to um, automate tempo as you move through your scenes is a problem if you're trying to perform live. Now, I'd never tried to do that with uh, Ableton Link, and I've had a play with it, and actually there is some potential there. And I don't know, because I never use it very much, I don't know if a couple of these things are new to Force 3.2 or not. Someone uh, who knows, feel free to comment. So what I'm going to do is show you how I've got this set up and show you what is possible to do with it in terms of auto, kind of automatically changing tempo. Um, caveat number one, or the only caveat really, is that my force just will not connect with Ableton over Wi-Fi. I don't know why. I've never got it to work. So I've got it uh, connected to my PC with a network cable, just a telephone cable type thing, um, which is going out of the force into the network card on my PC. Um, and it is behaving in the, exactly the same way as if it was connected to the Wi-Fi. That's the only thing. So if we press menu, hopefully you can see here that I've got Ableton link, um, got one link established. So it's linked with this Ableton that I've got running on my computer. Um, so that's one thing you need to do. Um, the second thing you need to do is to go into your preferences. So menu, uh, preferences, then link uh, MIDI sync. And when we go down here, you'll see that we've got the option to toggle Ableton Start Stop Sync. Make sure that is switched on, because um, what that means is when you press play on the force, it will start Ableton Live, or when you press play on Ableton Live, it will start the force. I don't know if that was there before 3.2. I never played with it, uh, but it's there now, and it's very handy. So hopefully you can see it's very small, but we've got Link running in the background here. So what I've done is I've created three scenes uh, that have got the same drum clip in each one and three different melodic clips. This is an audio track. And these audio tracks aren't warped. They're at um, 120 BPM, 130 BPM, and 100 BPM. No warping. That's the native um, BPM or tempo of those three tracks. And then if we look up on Ableton Live here, I've got three scenes and I've created four MIDI clips here, which are four bars long, the same as these are. These are four bars long as well. Um, and the first scene of this um, set in Ableton Live is 120 BPM. The second is 130 BPM and the third is 100 BPM, which matches the tempo of these three things. Um, the other thing I've done is I've got my launch quantization set to four bars on here. So when I trigger the next scene, it will wait to the end of a four bar loop before making the change. On Ableton Live, I've got no launch quantization. So when I trigger these scenes, the tempo will happen immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the matrix view and then I'm going to uh, lock the tempo so you can see that we've got our first scene armed and ready to go and it's at 120 bpm which is the same as what we've got on Ableton Live. So if I press play now this will start running. This is our first script. Keep an eye on the tempo. I'm going to let it come around another time and then what I'm going to do is trigger the launch as uh, launch the second scene and as the second scene comes in, I'm instantly going to trigger the second scene in Ableton Live, which will bring the tempo up to 130 BPM, which matches the tempo of our second scene. So let's do that now. It's triggered. Watch the tempo. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we've immediately um, uh, stepped up in tempo to 130 BPM, which is what we wanted. And it sounds pretty seamless. I'm going to do the next one up to, oh sorry, down to 100 BPM, and then I'll run through it without talking so you can hear what the transition sounds like. So let's do the next one.
So you can see it works as long as you get your timing right. I've got this, I've got Ableton set with no launch quantization because I tried it with four bars, the same as I got set on the force and it, it didn't work. It There was a little bit of lag and it, it just didn't work. It was all a bit choppy, but doing it like this. So basically you've got a button here to press, um, which instantly changes the tempo on the force. Now, whether this particular setup is in, is useful to you or not, may or may not be. I can envisage a situation where you just had um, a launch pad, like a Novation launch pad, one of the little mini ones. You could just trigger scenes. So as you ran through your performance on the force, you could trigger scenes um, and, and basically change the tempo instantly. Because at the moment, what we have to do, you trigger a scene, press tap tempo, and then do it automat uh, Sorry, manually, which is a bit cumbersome. Obviously, this means you need to have a computer with you when you're performing live, which is not what everyone wants, but I'll get to that in a second. But the other thing that's interesting about this way of automate, so this isn't really automated, um, but actually you can automate this change. So there's a thing in Ableton Live called um, follow actions. So where you trigger one clip, you can tell it what to do after it's played so many times. So if I wanted to, I could set the follow action for this first scene to play 20 times and then to move on to the next one, which would trigger a tempo change. And you can do exactly the same thing if you go into the uh, arranger mode of Ableton Live. You can automate... Um, tempo changes in the timeline on the master channel. So if you were playing a gig and you wanted to play it all on the force, um, you didn't want to use Ableton Live to trigger any uh, notes or anything like that. But if you knew how long your set was, if you know that you've got 16 bars of this, 24 bars of that, whatever that might be, you could then uh, either use those follow actions to create uh, an automation of tempo, or you could automate the tempo on the timeline here. So basically, when you press play on your set, you'd be doing everything on the full site you would do normally, but in the background, connected to Ableton Link, Ableton would be running, and um, it would trigger your tempo changes for you, either with follow actions or in the timeline. So that's as things are now. Um, so you would need to have a laptop with you um, that was running Ableton Live, even though you might not be doing anything else with Ableton Live. The caveat to that is the new Note app that they've just launched. Um, Ableton Live, I did a video on it the other day, have launched an iOS app called Note, which is a stripped back version of Ableton Live. And it basically works in session view and it works exactly the same. Now, I've tested um, the, uh, the um, Ableton link with it, and the link connects to the, to the force absolutely fine. I've got no idea why that will when the computer won't, but it connects. But the only problem is, at the moment, you in the, set, uh, in the session view mode of Ableton Note, which is the app, you can't change tempo bet between scenes like you can on the, on the desktop version. Now, if in the future Ableton produce an update for, for Ableton Note, the app that allows tempo changes um, between scenes in a project on there, you could use this method to change your tempos uh, without even um, having a computer with you. You just need a phone or an iPad and you could do the same thing. So as far as I can tell, it, the possibility is there. I mean, we've just demonstrated it working. It works. Let's just do it again. Here we go. First one, 120 BPM. It's doing its four bar start up thing because I said to that. Here we go. Second one. Back down, up to 130. Pretty seamless. Down to 100 BPM. So it's not perfect, but the functionality is there. And if you don't mind taking a computer with you, you could use it. So you could basically run a, temp, a, a, a project or a performance that goes through a whole bunch of different um, tempos, triggering those tempos essentially with uh, with clips in Ableton Live. It seems to work pretty well. Um, so oh, fingers crossed, if you can see my hands, fingers crossed that Ableton 
allow or, or update the Ableton Note app to allow those tempo changes between scenes because that would mean you could literally just rock up on stage with an iPad and a phone and then you could have that full functionality of changing tempo between your four scenes uh, without having to do it manually. So the functionality is kind of there. There's definitely potential for it. And if you're someone that performs with a force on a computer anyway, then it's it's easy. You can definitely do it. So that was a bit rambly. And I again I apologize for the um for the look of this video, but hopefully that might have been useful to some of you and it might have given you an idea to go off and explore this. There might be other iPad apps, gadget might work, or some of the other iPad apps that uh, might have um, uh, Ableton link and allow tempo changes might work where the Ableton note doesn't. But anyway, I hope that was useful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.